So pulling the knees up to the chest is a really great way to reintroduce spinal flexion into a daily routine, especially when you are cleared uh, to do spinal flexion and you're able to bend forward uh, without pain. Um, there's two different variations. The first one is going to be a single knee to chest and the second one is going to be a double knee to chest. The second variation is going to be a little bit more uh, intense, but ultimately all this stuff should be done pain-free. So all you're going to do is get onto your back and you're gonna pull your knee up towards your chest. And as you pull your knee up towards your chest, you can actually let your buttock come up off the floor, which is going to introduce that gentle spinal flexion. And when you get into this position, you can go ahead and take five to 10 deep breaths and then switch on over to the other side. Now, when you are pulling your knee up, you definitely wanna make sure that you pull your chest up as well as pull your pelvis up as well to introduce spinal flexion. There's also a really great way to open up your hip flexors too, especially after sitting uh, at your desk or sitting on the couch for a long period of time. Second option is going to be pulling uh, both of your knees into the chest, introducing a little bit more spinal flexion. So you're gonna get down and you're gonna pull your knees up. And then as you pull your knees up, you're gonna pull your hips up off the floor as well which is going to allow you to get much more flexion of the spine. Once you get into that position, you can take five to 10 deep breaths as well to allow you to just have that spinal flexion or spinal forward bending uh, in it as well. Um, the last variation is actually going to be, um, there's only so much that you can introduce uh, when it comes to bending forward with your knees to the chest. The second option is going to be pulling the knees to the shoulders, having those knees actually separate you can actually end up grabbing your feet and pulling it up as well, which is going to pull your pelvis off of the floor, which is gonna introduce that forward bending as well. Um, each, th each one of these variations is gonna be focusing on making sure that it is pain-free and you're feeling a good solid stretch. You're not generating any pain. So go ahead and try that out.